welcome back to Bear's Workshop. In today's video, we are going to be doing a repair on the vacuum flush toilet. It's one of these. It's a Sealand vacuum flush toilet. Uh, this is this is what came with the uh, RV as far as instructions. Uh, this is for a vacuum flush 500 plus and 1000 series model 706 toilets. I'm not sure which one I have. Doesn't really matter. The uh, parts are the same. Uh, this is the part that we're going to be putting in and we're gonna go take a look at that and I'll show you why we're doing that. Okay, so our problem with this toilet is that right at the seal, if you look inside the toilet, you can see the outer edge has a black seal on it and water is seeping through there. And what happens is it loses its vacuum and then the pump will kick on and it will run. Normally what you wanna do with these toilets is just always leave a little bit of water in there and it should stay there. But what's happening is the water is slowly seeping down through the seal and the vacuum pump is kicking on and that will run for a minute. So it's just running almost indefinitely as long as there's no seal. And then it has to, then it'll come back on, it'll get its seal and then it will lose it and it'll kick back on. So it's a constant thing. We have another toilet that's further up in the RV and that one has water and it's been sitting in there for a couple of weeks, no problem. So that's our goal today. So the first thing we need to do is on the bottom of the RV there's a plastic cover. We've got this plastic cover. It clips on uh, just for decoration but it comes off and it's just clipped in and you can just pull it out. We're gonna just pull that out without breaking it. And we'll probably clean this because that's kind of gross. Uh, we'll just leave this on the side for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a scope camera that we got. This is a Teslong scope camera off of Amazon. We're going to be making a video uh, of this and after we get a couple of uses in of it. We've already used it uh, once or twice and it's kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to use this in order to show you guys what's behind here and what we're doing. And um, I think this is going to be pretty helpful. Uh, a side note, uh, when you have these vacuum flush toilets, always have a toilet brush next to you. Uh, whenever you have any seal problems, you always want to open it up, take that toilet brush and go, go in a circular motion with the, with the brush, getting, that, getting where that seal heads, because I'll get any poop and debris out of there, and that, that can sometimes cause those toilets to leak. So always do that, and make sure you've scrubbed it real good before you, you go through this process. Uh, th this is something that uh, I've done that before and it's it's been fine and then it, we've just gotten to the point where it, it's not fine and I've scrubbed it and I've scrubbed it and not scrubbing it anymore so let's take a look with this and we'll do a little uh, we'll show the, the video of what we're looking at because the first thing that we got to look at is what we have to remove and this will be helpful because it's tight quarters in here all right so and by the way this is the only view you'll ever have of me sitting on a toilet or on near a toilet like this kind of awkward okay so here you see the bottom of the bowl and we've got a big o-ring or not an o-ring uh, one of the clamps cl clamp rings and then if we go around the back we can see that's where the screw is right in the back in the hardest spot to get to and we're going to go ahead and release that and that should release this uh, piece around here and that's going to fit like probably like two C's and that holds the toilet down. So that's what we're going to pull off right now. Okay, the O-ring is off. It's just dropped down into place. We're going to see that. Here's half of that. That C that I was talking about. I don't even know what they call them. But now we're going to lift the up, the uh, moving around, pulling off the other one. Now the water line's still hooked up. I'm just going to shut off the water just in case. Now we just broke the seal. So the vacuum pump has kicked in. I'm going to shut that off. Okay, so just want to show you how this actually works. You see, we've got the toilet on its side, 
and when you push down on this handle you see how this whole thing rotates and that's what causes it to open and close. We've got the seals are right underneath here. We're going to go ahead and pull those off and we're going to put the new ones on. But just wanted to show you how how this actually works. I always thought it was a flat piece. It, I didn't really think about it just because it always looks like it's just something that's sliding back and forth like this. But actually what it is, it's a, it's a curved lid, valve, whatever. And by the way, this stinks in case anyone's wondering because we do have direct flow to the uh, black tank. So this is pretty stinky. So next process here is we're going to pull these two pieces off. And set them aside. Just like that we're going to grab our new ones. And I hope these are the right ones since I've already done all this. So let's take a look at what we've got here. I should be wearing gloves and a hazmat suit. This does look the same. Just a little different color. So we're going to put them together like this. On these two seals, we've, they're both notched. There's a spot right here where it, it's going to fit into. So that's where I need to line it up. I just need to lift up the bowl over here. And now they're they're in position, so I'm gonna rest the bowl back on top of it. I'm gonna take a look underneath, make sure we're lined up. All right, so the the toilet's lined up. One thing you got to make sure you do at this point is that the toilet is uh, square, straight out, because if you have it slightly off a couple degrees, you're gonna be pointing that way or that way, and you know that way or you know it's just you don't want to do that so I'm, I'm gonna put these uh, these clamp rings back on and this one I'm going to because the handles on the other side I'm gonna put it on and then just slide it around to the other side like that I'm gonna, is it visible all right good I'm gonna stick the other one on Put them together. Wait a minute. Let's see. They they only go on one way. I got to make sure I get it the right way. I'll pull this one off. Okay, they're notched here and here. So they got to go crisscross. Crisscross applesauce on this one. Alright, so lift up the, the clamp ring, slide this through, and the other side, and I'm going to have to stick my head back there in order to get this to line up. I'm going to go ahead and pull this clamp ring off. Completely. seems to shift when I'm tightening it because it keeps shifting over and I can see it in the toilet okay so we've got the toilet positioned uh, the, the important thing that I found out was that this seal needs to be on there perfectly because it's so if it's over a quarter of an inch to the right or to the left or back or forward uh, what's gonna happen is the toilet when you tighten up those rings that clamp them down the toilet's going to move to where it's supposed to be but if this ring is off a little bit then you're going to have a big black line of seal that you're going to see and you're going to realize that 
this isn't right. So make sure that that's on there correctly. Got to get that clamp ring back around and it's easiest if it's taken completely off and then put back on. Once you get your two C's on there, then you put the clamp ring back on and then you tighten it up and you run your pump. Make sure you got no leaks. I don't hear any air leaks right now. We've got water sitting in it, probably about that much. We're going to come back in about an hour to see if that line has moved. Hopefully it has not. And then a uh, successful seal change and that will fix our problem. Okay, so we finished up the repairs. Everything has been put back together. It's been an hour. The water didn't leak out, uh, didn't drain from the bowl, hasn't leaked out from the bottom. So we got all of our seals in correctly. So the most important thing, as I mentioned, is to get that black seal lined up perfectly in the center so that when you put the bowl back on it, it's, uh, it's not, you can't see it from the top any more than you did previously, which you, you should see about an eighth to a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch around the edges and you got every, everything would be lined up. Uh, everything's working now and that's another, another good repair. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to help us out, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.